Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. Now, one of my favorite things about RG351 devices and other similar devices is that they run Emulation Station. And what I really like about this interface is that it allows you to see the box art and media for all of your games. And so all you really have to do is load up your games onto the SD card and then use the Wi-Fi built into your device to download all the missing box art and media. This process is called scraping. But the thing is, a lot of these devices are not very fast when it comes to the Wi-Fi connection, and it also will run down your battery, so it ends up taking hours and hours to scrape all your media on the device itself. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to scrape everything using your PC computer. Scraping on your computer is about 10 times faster than it is on your device, and it's a very simple process. So let's just jump into it. So to start, you're going to need to download one app, and it's called Scraper with a K. You just go to scraper.net, and then you select download, and then you download it. And this app is available for both Windows and Linux, but it's not ready for the Mac yet. So just go ahead and download it and install this app, and then we're going to be ready to go. Once you have it installed, just go to your Windows Start menu, and then type in Scraper, and then grab it. Now when it first loads up, it's going to ask you to put in a Screen Scraper account. And I recommend making an account on the Screen Scraper website. And that's going to be at ScreenScraper.fr. So just go ahead and hit the register button, make a username and password, and then we're ready to start. So once you put in your login information, go ahead and hit Validate. And then go to Next. And then you want to select Recall Box. And here in this next section, you're going to go to the folder where all of your ROMs are stored. I'm actually going to do it directly on my SD card from 351ELEC. Once you've selected your ROMs folder, go ahead and select that Include Non-Recall Box Folders. Then hit Next, and then Next one more time. Now on the left, it's going to show you all the systems that it found based on the names of your folders. And luckily, all the folder names that are used in Emulec and 351ELEC, all those emulation station-based firmwares, they all use the same naming convention, and it's going to work on this scraper. Now if they don't work, you can just go ahead and hit that plus button on the bottom left and add it yourself. So let's adjust the default settings for all the systems real quick. First thing to adjust is the games list. In the game list type, go ahead and select no backup, create new or overwrite existing. That's all you have to do on this tab. Next, we're going to choose what kind of media we want to scrape. Typically, I recommend getting one image and one video. So in this first column, go ahead and change the media type to just say image. And now you get to select what kind of image you want to use. So if you want to use screenshot, you can use that, but I like to use the box 2D, so I'm going to change it to that. Okay, so now I have one of my media types selected. For the other one, I'm going to change it to normalized videos. These are going to be smaller size videos that are going to look great on a handheld device. Next thing we have to do is adjust the folder so it's recognized in emulation station. And this is very easy. All you have to do is delete the word media from the output folder. So it should just say ROM root folder slash videos. And then click on the image and do the same thing here, ROM root folder slash images. So now we're good. Now we've made all of our device-wide settings. There's a couple other things I want to recommend, though. If you go into PlayStation and you go into Games and Front End, I recommend removing the bin file extension because you're not going to want to scrape all those bin files. Same thing with any other CD-based system like Sega CD and Dreamcast. Just remove the bin from that. It's going to save you time and file space. Also, within your arcade folders, I recommend you use specific configurations for these arcade games. And that's because most of these arcade games don't have anything like a box art. Instead, I would recommend using a screenshot. So make your first image a screenshot, and then the second one your normalized videos. And make sure you remove that media word from the output folders as well. Now you want to do this one at a time. So here I just did it for Final Burn Neo, and I'm going to go and do it again for the MAME folder. I want to make sure I have a screenshot and a normalized video, and then I want to remove the media from the output folder. Okay, at this point we're ready to go. So I'm going to select the All Systems, and then I'm going to hit the Play button on the bottom right. It's going to say, hey, this is going to take a while. Are you sure about that? And just say, yeah, man, I'm ready. Okay, so it'll start building your folders for you. Initially, it's going to say it's going to take like an hour and a half, but you'll find that the time will drastically reduce as it goes forward. Now, 
One thing to note is that you have a limit on how many things you can scrape in one day, and that's 20,000. So just make sure you're not trying to scrape the entire world all in one day, because you'll hit that cap. Okay, so I'm just letting this kind of fast forward, and you can see how I'm scraping all these different systems. So as you can see here, it took a little bit less than 20 minutes to scrape 615 games. Now doing this on my device itself, it takes about an hour and a half. So I was able to shave down this time from an hour and a half down to less than 20 minutes. So that's pretty handy. All you have to do at this point is just eject your SD card and put it right into your device and it should recognize everything for you. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you real quick how to scrape everything on your computer so that you can save valuable time instead of doing it on your device itself. This process allows me to do things like screensaver, which you're seeing here, to be able to see these beautiful videos as I'm playing with my device. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming!